I hope you're all having a beautiful day. Today I'm doing a Q&A for 60k subscribers and I can't thank you guys enough. Thank you so much for helping me reach my goal. And now we got to go for that 1 mil. But today I'm going to be doing some questions that you guys asked me on Twitter. So let's get right into it. So we're going to hit the big question right away. Nate Stums asked me, what's my biggest fear? Now I know in my previous video I talked about, you know, fear of not being, you know, pretty, pretty much putting my mark in this world and just going, like, passing away without anyone remembering me or stuff like that. But another fear that has to do with that is death. I am afraid of death, but not necessarily because I'm afraid of dying, dying. I'm afraid of what happens after. A lot of you believe, you know, a lot of you are, might be religious and really believe in God and believe that you go to heaven or hell, stuff like that. Me, I'm the type of person in the middle. I do believe, but I don't believe. So what really scares me is what's going to happen after I die. And I just don't want to be, you know, I just don't want to not exist anymore. I don't, I want to have an existence forever because it's just a scary thought knowing that what happens once you die, there's no more apathy. There's no more Brian. Nebula Sinister asked me, how old am I? A lot of you don't know my age, so I'm going to go ahead and tell you. So you guys know in this video, I'm 20 years old, about to be 21 on next month, April 15th, and I can't wait. Doug Stums asked me, would I rather have 1 million followers on Twitter and be verified or 1 million subscribers on YouTube? I'll definitely choose 1 million subscribers on YouTube any day. Twitter is nice and all, yeah, 1 million followers, woohoo! But at the end of the day, YouTube subscribers mean more and means you have a lot of supporters, means you have a lot of fans, means you have people who love you and that's what I want. Matthew asked me, how good do I think I'll do at Champs and is booty life? First of all, booty is life. That's it. You don't gotta, you don't gotta choose anything else. You gotta think about anything else. Booty is everything. All right, now let's go to the next question. I think I'm gonna do very well at champs. Uh, I don't know yet. Uh, you know how I'm gonna perform because obviously I haven't. It's not champs yet, but I have a lot of confidence going to champs, especially individually. I think I've been playing a lot. I've been putting in a lot of time. I understand the game very well, and I think it's all gonna pay off. And I think. I'm just gonna play really well, and I can't wait. Nero Trinity X asked me, "What what makes apathy get angry?" Because I'm always such a calm person. Honestly, a lot of things get me angry. Uh, I just learned how to control myself. I've learned how to, you know, it's it's meant to, it's it's a huge mental thing. If you can learn how to sustain yourself and just hold yourself, you'll be fine. But obviously, you know, just like anyone, I lashed out before. Uh, you can only hold it for so long if someone keeps pushing and pushing your buttons your little buttons And they're like they keep going they keep going and they keep going You know it gets to a point you're just like why the hell should I hold myself back for this guy? Like if this guy is gonna whether he's he's talking shit to you whether he's disrespecting you Whether he's making fun of you whatever the case might be Why the hell are you gonna keep going out of your way to hold yourself from from talking shit back from being disrespected, all these things. You're obviously gonna just not care anymore. I was gonna say not give a fuck, but I don't wanna say that. You're just obviously not gonna care anymore. You're just gonna start start doing whatever you want. Connor Jarvie asked me, would I rather kiss Nate's shot on the lips or lick Sensor's big toe? Well, first of all, Nate shot has some juicy lips, low key, huh? And Sensor, I've seen his toes. They ain't nothing pretty. Like, when I mean ain't nothing pretty, I mean, like, I don't, I don't think I want to be near them when it comes to kissing or licking. So, I'm going to have to go with a quick smooch on 8-Shot. Let's just leave it there, guys. No comment, not, just, just leave it there. Every fact asks me, why do you and Crimzix have beef? The thing is, I don't ne necessarily have beef with him. It's just, I mean, even though he's kind of like that with every pro player, you know, he talks shit in-game and all that stuff, but he's the type of player that just picks at the stuff I do. I, I remember every time, either when I beat him, when I play him, uh, after where the match is done and I won and he's on stream, you know, people people tell me like tune into the stream or stuff and then he's there like running it in his mouth, even even like other stuff than the gamey, like he's like, did you, see, did you see how he, did you see how he tweeted that? Dude, I swear he has dyslexia or something. I'm just there like, what? Like first of all, you can only have 140 characters to tweet. I'm obviously not gonna tweet. Like I can't if I'm trying to fill in a huge like sentence or a huge paragraph. I'm obviously gonna try to fit in as quickly as much as possible. I'm not gonna like perfect my grammar or stuff. But it's just stuff like that. Like he just he just picks at my gameplay. He picks the way I play. He he thinks I suck or he thinks I'm dumb and all these things. And you know it just 
it is it's it, it's bad on my image because he's sitting there bashing me and you know talking shit he has a huge fan base he has huge a huge following he has a huge amount of people watching his stream and then once you know once he's talking all that shit once he he gives a perspective that you know i suck i'm a dumbass all these things and then all the other people that are watching him start to follow him and this really dis and this ruins my image because then all those people are going to start bashing me now saying those things when clearly i'm a good player like i honestly have a lot of respect for the guy i think he's a great player he's obviously won a lot of championships i've always thought you know he was a really good player but you know i just can't stand him talking shit and continue talking shit non-stop even out stuff out of gaming it just it needs to stop like there needs to be a line you know in game in game shit talk it's fine but there needs to be a line where you just gotta know when to stop and you gotta respect people do the ricky impression again <laughs> what are you doing push the bomb <laughs> you should get stuck <laughs> you should get stuck so bad study what are you doing why didn't you get the flag by the way guys i love ricky and i think he's a good player Relapse asked me, what is my favorite sport? I'm going to have to go with basketball. Actually, Esports asked me, would I rather live in the house of my dreams with no internet access or live in my current house forever? I'm going to have to go with simply the house of my dreams because, yes, internet's amazing. and You can play online. You can do a million things with internet in my house. But you know what? In the end, man, the house of your dreams, my house is amazing. Like, in my dreams, my house is like, woo, worth millions and millions of dollars. And... That type of house, man, I don't care if I have no internet access, man, I'll, I'll have the time of my life in a house like that. So, to be honest, I'm Gucci. I'm good. Low on that life asked me, do I believe hard work pays off? Yes, I do. One thing I know, and one thing I've seen, and from experience, it always pays off. Evolve Native asked me, who was my biggest inspiration growing up to or inspired to me? The one person I kind of did was my brother. But, you know, I, I just wanted to be like him. He was really res respectable, loving, caring, uh, you know, cool, amazing. Just a, a really just overall type of down-to-earth person. The person that you, you always want to chill with, that you really respect, that you really love. And, you know, growing up, I wanted to be just like him, but better. I, I strive for greatness. I strive to be, you know, very uh, a very good person, you can say. You know, very generous, very nice, very caring, very loving. Uh, respectable, respecting other people and stuff like that and I also wanted to be you know fit and I just want to be a lot of things but I never really had someone who inspired me to do those things I guess you, I can say that like the pr previous couple years like two three years I've I guess have some inspiration for example Nate Shot kind of inspires me for YouTube uh, people who are huge in fitness like uh, let's see uh, like Kai Green, Steve Cook all these people who are big bodybuilders and stuff like obviously I don't want to be like them but I do want to have you know a perception I do want to kind of be like them I do really want to be fit you know I want to be strong and stuff like that but as I was growing up I really never had anyone you know just myself me and my world just being the best I can be alright guys I want to say thank you so much for watching the video I really appreciate it man you guys are awesome I can't believe I hit 60k it's freaking freaking awesome and you guys are literally amazing man i hope one day to hit the big one million subscribers it's obviously gonna take time with cod champs coming up i've been really focused on that sorry if i've been slacking a little bit on youtube videos maybe you guys haven't been liking them much but you know i'm really focused on cod champs i've been resting my thumb and yeah it still hurts every day i play but you know what what can i do i i took um some pills for the inflammation you know it's gone down but it still hurts inside it's like 10 tendons problems or stuff Tendos, tendons, and I don't know. I'm just gonna probably have to go to the doctor for that, but whatever. That's out of the out of the story. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Thank you so much for 60k once again. And don't forget to watch my next video. This has been your boy Apathy, and I'm currently out. Yeah, baby. What are you doing, man? You know what I'm doing? I'm raping your ass. <laughs> You're a fucking piece of shit, dude. Get fuck out of here, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> What's up there, <laughs> pussy? Sit your drag scope ass up, man. Sound fucking nice. Shut that door. It was dirty, though. Ooh. Ooh la la. Ooh. Dude, you're gonna wait for me like a little bitch? <laughs>